Moreover, Suvi Sudimati, if the marks of the truth of ultimate meaning were identical with the marks of conditioned states of being, then, just as the marks of conditioned states of being are defiled, so also the marks of the truth of ultimate meaning would be defiled. Suvisu Dimati, if the marks of the truth of ultimate meaning were entirely different from the marks of conditioned states of being, then the common mark that describes conditioned states of being could not be termed the mark of the truth of ultimate meaning. But, Suvisu Dimati, the descriptive marks of the truth of ultimate meaning are not defiled and the common marks of conditioned states of being are termed the mark of the truth of ultimate meaning. Therefore, it is not reasonable to say that the descriptive marks of the truth of ultimate meaning are identical with the descriptive marks of conditioned states of being, nor that they are entirely different from one another. From this argument, you should understand that both those who speak for the identity of Marx and those who speak for their complete difference are neither intelligent nor reasonable. Moreover, Suvisu Dimati, if the descriptive marks of ultimate truth were identical with the descriptive marks of conditioned states of being, then, just as the mark of the truth of ultimate meaning is undifferentiated in all conditioned states, so all the marks of those conditioned states would be undifferentiated. Then, those who practice meditation would not have to search for ultimate meaning in all the conditioned states of being that they have seen, heard, understood, and known. On the other hand, if the descriptive marks of the truth of ultimate meaning were entirely different from conditioned states of being, then it would not be true that all conditioned states of being are manifestations only of the absence of self, of the absence of essence. The marks of ultimate truth would then simultaneously be held to be characterized in two different manners, one of defilement and one of purity. But, Suvisudimati, these marks of conditioned things are indeed different. Those who practice meditation do search for ultimate meaning in the conditioned states of being they have seen, heard, understood, and known. Also, all conditioned states of being are indeed manifestations only of the absence of self, the absence of essence, and they are rightly termed marks of ultimate truth. It is not true that it is simultaneously characterized in two manners, one of defilement and one of purity. Therefore, the opinion that the marks of the truth of ultimate meaning are either identical with or entirely different from the marks of conditioned states of being is not reasonable. If some say that these marks of the truth of ultimate meaning are either identical with or entirely different from the marks of conditioned states of being, from this argument you should understand that they are neither intelligent nor truly reasonable.